Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that uh, in a country called Primistan, the currency is called Abhaji and is available in five denominations: two, three, five, seven, and eleven. Each of five persons, Pranav, Reena, uh, Ian, Mushtaq, and Emily, they had notes of exactly one denomination with them, and no two of them had notes of the same denomination. And on a particular day, they visited a bookshop and purchased a different book. The amounts they paid were these, and it is also given that the number of notes each person gave the shopkeeper was distinct. So they gave the different number of notes. But what happened was each person paid more uh, than the price of the book to the shopkeeper, and as a result, the shopkeeper returned three notes to each one of them. and these three notes were of different denominations which was not the denomination in which they had paid the shopkeeper right so quite complex problem related to numbers okay and then we have to answer these questions okay so uh, let us see that how to approach this problem first of all we must understand that amount paid will be will be the note type the type of note the denomination that they have into number of notes okay we are given that these are different for five people and these are the five different types and the number of notes is also different so let us use this logic and try to find out the type and number of notes okay so let us just put this so these people are also named as prime they paid uh, 42 105 165 70 and 75 okay these are the amount paid by these people to the shopkeeper so uh, first of all we will try to find out that what are the types of notes they can have so this person can have 2 3 or 7 this person can have 3 Five or seven, okay. This is three uh, into five, fifteen and eleven. So three, five or eleven, okay. He can have two, five and seven, and seventy-five is possible with only three and five, okay. Now we will try to find out. This is the amount. This is the type they have. and this is the number of notes they spent okay they uh, gave to the shopkeeper so if we see this now two we cannot find out because two can be here two can be here three is uh, available in multiple places five also multi, uh, possible multiple times seven also we see here and here but 11 is unique okay so if you see this 11 is unique so this person <clears throat> paid in notes of 11 now the number of notes will come as 15 okay now from this logic if this person can pay in 3 or 5 notes and if he pays in notes of 5 then this this person has paid 15 so 5 into 15 will give us 75 but it is given that the amount uh, the number of notes that each person gave the shopkeeper was distinct okay so this number is distinct this means the person cannot give 15 notes so this person paid in 3 and gave 25 notes to the shopkeeper okay now 3 uh, is done so we can rule out some more possibilities so 11 is done 3 is done okay uh then let's look at the next thing so 5 uh this will give us 2 7 this can give us 2 5 7 anything okay uh now let us see this again 15 is not possible so if you divide this by 15 like it cannot be 3 because 3 is done if you divide by 7 you will get 15 again okay which is not possible because 15 is already this 
so it will be five. Okay, so we have ruled out two possibilities, three and seven. So this will be five. So this person paid twenty one notes. Okay, now if we see this, uh, five is done. We are left with two and seven, and here also we are left with two and seven. Suppose if we take seven here, we will get twenty one notes. Again, this twenty one matches with this twenty one, so that is also not possible. Okay, so it means that this person paid in seven. That person had seven uh, notes of seven denomination seven and paid six notes. Okay, now this person will have two and will pay in thirty five. Will pay thirty five notes. Okay, so that is how we will figure out that which type of note they had and how many notes they paid to the shopkeeper. Okay, so now let us see the questions. First question says, "What was the total number of notes paid to the shopkeeper?" So just add these numbers. This is fifty, seventy-five, seventy-five plus twenty-seven, hundred and two. Who paid the highest number of notes to the shopkeeper? So that is Mushtaq. Which of the following cannot be the price of the book purchased by Ian? Now Ian paid one sixty-five. <coughs> right and he paid in 11 okay now he can get return from 2 3 5 7 he can get a return from three notes out of this so what could those three add up to these three can add up to 10 okay uh then <clears throat> we try to exclude one of these so if we exclude 7 we will get 10 if we exclude 5 we will get 12 if we exclude 3 we will get 14 If we exclude two, we will get fifteen. So that is the, this is the amount paid. This is the return. Okay, paid minus return gives us the price. So the price can be one fifty five. If twelve is returned, one fifty three. If fourteen is returned, one fifty one. And if fifteen is returned, one fifty. Okay, so out of these given options, one fifty, fifty one, fifty three are present here. One forty nine is not possible. Next question: What could be the price of the costliest book purchased by Emily? So Emily spent seventy five. Okay, seventy five spent here, and it is in the form of three. Okay, so she will get return out of two, five, seven, or eleven. Okay, now if you have to find the costliest book. so costliest book means she will get the least amount of change in return so least amount of change in return will be this 2 5 and 7 right so that is uh, 12 plus 2 14 so the answer will be 61 now the next question is which of the following is not true regarding the price of the book purchased by pranav so pranav spent 42 in the purchase okay and will get that was of 7 so return will come from 2 3 5 and 11 okay now we will try to find out the uh, the possible returns so possible returns are add any of these three so 2 3 5 we get the return as 10 okay so this is the uh, amount paid this is the return that he will get and we will find the price accordingly okay so amount paid is 10 uh, then if we exclude 5 then it will be 16 if we exclude 3 that will be 18 and if we exclude 2 that will be 19 okay so that could be the return so based on the return the price would be 32 26 24 or 23 so these are the four possible prices of the uh, books that he purchased okay now which of the following is not true so the price of the book he purchased is a multiple of 3 it it can be a multiple of 3 so it is uh, it uh, it may be true okay the price of the book purchased is a multiple of 5 so that is not true okay 8 it's possible right it can be 32 it can be 24 and the price of the book he purchased is a prime number is also possible because the price could be 23 also but this is not possible 
uh, is a multiple of five. Okay, so this is how we are going to attempt these questions. Now I have a question for you to answer in the comments. Which of the following statements is sufficient to find the price of the book that Rina purchased? So I already explained a couple of questions on this type. So find uh, we already know the data for Rina. So find out that uh, what could be the price of the book that she purchased. There will be four possibilities, and based on these statements, try to determine that which is sufficient to answer the question. So please answer this question in the comments of this video. And I hope you enjoyed solving this set and loved the explanation of the set. So please do like the video.